Okay, so a package has today arrived from China that I've been really looking forward to receiving. Let's open it up and see what's inside. So on the outside of the box we've got, it says, Mix. Mini plus Max equals Mix. Aurora Blue. Doogee. This is my new phone. This is the Doogee Mix 5.5. So let's take a look. So there's the phone itself. We'll have a look at that in a moment. There is in there a screen protector. I think that was meant to be a tempered glass screen protector, but I can't quite believe that's glass if it's that bendy. But never mind. An instruction manual. A warranty card, a case, sort of hard but resilient plastic case, <laughs> what appears to be a condom wrapper that says stick in hole, feel the world. I know what this is though actually, it's one of those little ring things that sticks on the back of the phone. USB micro cable and a charger that does not fit my sockets but that doesn't matter I'm not intending to use that. Oh plus a little SIM tray card and that's it. So I guess we ought to have a look at the phone didn't we? Okay, so this is the phone. Let's peel off these stickers. There's a one protecting the whole of the back there. There's another little one protecting the camera lens. There's another one that's over the back glass. I'm sure that is a protective sticker. I think that's meant to come off. Another one that's over the front there. Yeah, there's, a, there's double layers of stickers over the... I don't know if that's meant to be some sort of protector, but it's coming off. Ow. Yeah, I think that's like a protector because that's quite rigid. But I'm not having that. So, oh, that's very pretty underneath that protector. And similarly, there is one on the front here, which we're going to try to take off without damaging my fingernails like I did with the other one. Right, so initial impressions, wow what a pretty phone. Fingerprint magnet as you can see already, but the rear glass is beautiful sort of midnight blue colour. The front is like a mirror. Buttons on the side. The sides are metal I believe, painted metal. Now let's have a look at this. <laughs> when I've got a million subscribers maybe I'll be taking a knife to a brand new phone. But no, just kidding. So I guess we ought to power it up and see what it's like when it's switched on. Now the whole point of this phone is it, it's meant to be bezel-less. So it's meant to be very close to the edge of the screen all the way around there. So let's see how well that claims that stacks up. Well the screen seems nice and bright and clear. So that's connected to my Wi-Fi. I'm going to skip past all of this actually, we'll just do all of the updates, we'll get ourselves to a desktop and we'll have a little play with some apps or something like that. The first thing to say is the screen is just beautifully crisp and bright. The colour saturation is really rather remarkable. The responsiveness seems pretty good. 
I'm going to have to obviously spend a little bit of time getting this set up the way I like it. But uh, So this video is more about first impressions on build quality and general quality. I can't obviously comment on the OS, I'm going to take, have to take a little bit of time to get used to that. And then I think I'll post another video in a couple of weeks when I've had a little play with this, got really familiar with it, and we know where we're at. But for now, physical build quality seems remarkably good. It's got a good heft in the hand. I'll have a little bit of a play with the call quality and we'll just post back on what the audio quality is like and a few other things. In fact, let's just right, let's just have a little look at something that's got some music on it. And then we'll Okay, well that seems pretty decent quality for video replay. Okay, so let's have a little round up of the features on the outside of the phone. So we've got the fingerprint sensor down there, we've got the front camera, we have got at the top here a little speaker that just sits on top of the screen. So in fact to say it's bezel-less is slightly wrong because there is a tiny hint of a bezel at the top edge of the screen there, but it's, uh, it's pretty slim. And there's the proximity and light sensor there, which is for detecting whether you've got it next to your face or what the ambient light conditions are like. So on the side here we've got the volume up and down buttons. We've got the power button. Top, we've just got a headphone jack. On this side, just the SIM tray. On this side, two speakers and micro USB charging slot. And then on the back, we've got the dual cameras. Now one of these is a full color camera and the other one is a black and white mono camera and the LED flash and we'll do another video I think where we'll go and test the video quality we'll test the call quality and a few other things but initial impressions of this phone it feels really good in my hand it's bigger than my existing phone because my existing phone is this Windows Mobile here so it's going to take a little bit of getting used to but actually it's not well, it, without the case it's not that much bigger than the Windows Phone, I guess probably four millimeters in both dimensions. So yeah, overall impression is pretty positive. It seems nice and solid. It feels good in my hand. Time will tell whether I like using it. I suppose it wouldn't be right doing this review without filming something using the actual phone camera. So this is, in fact, if you see the reflection here, and that's the Doogee Mix 5.5 is recording this footage and I guess it was just that I wanted to do that. Goodbye Windows Phone. So that's a first look at the Doogee Mix 5.5. Thanks for watching, I hope to see you again soon.